if y varies inversely as x and y equals 14 when x is 6, find y when x is 9. Let's go ahead and work through this very carefully. So when I do these problems, um, I like to read one little piece at a time and then just work out that little piece. So for example, y varies inversely as x. Okay, so what does that mean? That would mean that y is equal to k over x. Remember, inversely means you divide. If it says directly, then it's just k times x. All right, then it says, and y equals 14 when x equals 6. So now what we can do is we can take these numbers and plug them in and solve for k. So 14 is equal to k divided by 6. And we're looking for k, and it's being divided by 6, so we can multiply both sides by 6. So 6, and then put a 6 here on the left. 6 times 14 is 84, and these cancel, and so we have our k. So that means k is equal to 84. So now we can take the k and plug it back in. So we have y equals 84 over x. And the next step is to find the answer. So it says find y when x is equal to 9. So in this case, all we have to do is plug in 9 for our x. So we get 84 over 9 as our answer. And I don't think we can, can we simplify 84 over 9? Let's see, 8 times 9 is 72. Uh, 9 times 9 is uh, 81, so it's not going to work out very nicely. Uh, 3 goes into 9, and I don't think 3 goes into, uh, it does, it does. 3 goes into 84. Uh, 84 is 3 times 8. A little bit sneaky. So this would be, in reduced form, it would be 28 over 3. That would be the final answer. So again, you just do it in steps. So y varies inversely as x, so you write that down. And then y is 14 when x is 6, so you use this information to find k, and then you plug it back in. And the last step is usually the easiest step, you just plug it in. I feel like the simplification here was a little bit harder than in some of the other uh, examples. I hope this video has been helpful.